Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I wanna talk about Team of the Week Moments, the new version of Team of the Week cards that we're getting in FIFA Ultimate Team. I wanna talk about the content that we got with these cards, but I also wanna talk about the impact of these cards and what Weekend League rewards will do to these cards. Because we are getting Weekend League rewards in like a few hours after this video goes live. Weekend League rewards will be coming out. So I wanna kinda update you guys on that talk to you guys about a few things especially with these team of the week moment cards because um i think a lot of people were upset with these today but i think we had our expectations set a bit high and that's what i'm going to talk about and i also want to possibly put a feeler out for a possible uh for a possible promo that we could be getting this weekend as well it just kind of uh looking back at last year's dates and stuff and looking at that um looking at a possible promo that we could be getting this weekend, maybe a loading screen today, so buckle up. It might be a little bit of a longer video today just because I know how I get on some of these. I might end up talking for a little bit and uh, start throwing a lot of information out. So I'll try to keep it short, try to keep it concise and stuff like that. But Team of the Week moments are out. The biggest thing I wanna talk about with these is right off the bat, we do have an issue. Why not, right? This is this is EA Sports. Uh, we'll go look at the webpage in a second where, like, where they drop the information on these cards today. But if we search center back for Kyle Walker, there are no center backs around for Kyle Walker in this game uh, on the special tab. You have to go to the non-special tab to find this card. And then we can find ourselves the team of the week moments, Kyle Walker, which this is a mistake because he should be, he should be a, of course, a special card on this game. Right now he's like 300,000 coins, 290K, Manchester City, English center back a lot of people just completed the hector bellerin sbc um and probably well other some sbcs we had this week we had some other premier league sbcs earlier in the week that i think people have have completed so i want to talk about these cards to start the video and then talk about them in relation to weekend league rewards as well because those are dropping and i'm sure that some of you guys want to try these cards in your team or uh you might want to be trading with these cards and we'll talk about it uh in a second but this is the big page that EA put out today, and I'm going to say from the top, GG's EA uh, for the communication. There's a lot of communication on here. They spelled everything out um, really nice for us, even though we don't maybe like some of the content or, or the, the selections, at least from today. Uh, they were very open with how they explained things, so you know, tip of the hat to you there. I'm curious about this card right here. What is this? It, this is basically the same card design, but it's like black and white almost with, with the blue. I don't know if this is a different card designer. They just made this here for the graphic. I don't think this has been added to the pack code unless I'm incorrect. I think all these cards, maybe that's the silver design. Maybe this is the silver design instead of the gold, but I don't see that that card in game. Maybe I just need to look in, inside of like the team of the week page on, on ultimate team or something. But these are the new team of the week moments cards. These are the new ones right here. And basically what this is, it's going to replace team of the week. And basically... Uh, they're going to be releasing a specific team of the week that was released from March onwards in each product year. So today, our team of the week moments that we got was an exact replica of team of the week number 28 from FIFA 18. This is the team of the week that was uh, that we based on our current team of the week with that came out for team of the week moments this week. So as you can tell, a lot of the ratings are lower and that is the biggest complaint today. People are asking EA, why don't you drop the 91 rated bail into foot as he was in FIFA 18? It's just a different stage of the game this year. And what they said they're going to do in their patch notes, they said that they're going to, they're going to release the upgrades to follow that player's upgrade path, right? And if you're EA, it kind of makes sense. It, it kind of sucks for us because we want to have those beastly cards we want to have a 91 rated bail instead of this 86 um i mean it's nice to have a bail special card for a real madrid fan out there with the position change but you probably wanted that 91 right stuff like that uh but they said they're going to keep going with the normal um upgrades based on how the player's rating is in game and it makes sense because from an ea standpoint uh this isn't a promo and i think i'm going to talk about this a couple times today as we talk about just perspective this is not a promo this is a weekly team of the week which you know we're kind of hyped up for team of the weeks right but now in fifa ultimate team the focus isn't on these cards that come out every week that's not the main focus of every, of every week the focus is the sbc content and the content that goes into packs and how that affects the market and objectives as well 
That is kind of the focus for content these days in foot. Team of the week has taken a back seat, especially this year. Team of the week upgrades, the players that they've chosen have really taken a back seat to the other promos. And that is really shown here again with their motivations with this um, moments team of the week. So basically again, uh, any team of the week from March or later in any of the past FIFA, so FIFA 19, FIFA 18, I don't know how far back they're going to go, but FIFA 17, 16, 15 are possible, um, you know, team of the week, team of the week cards that we could see in FIFA 20. So the idea is cool. All right. The idea is cool that we're getting content uh, that was from past FIFAs, but also you could say that it's kind of lazy because it's re-released. There's a lot of ways to go with it, but basically team of the week moments. This is what all this says down here. Team of the week moments are going to be replacing team of the week cards in every way, shape and form. They're going to be in every single part of foot and they will upgrade live items. Now, a couple of you guys had questions on that in my video yesterday. Are they going to upgrade ones to watches and headliners? And that's a yes. We've already seen some market movements because of that. There's really nothing in here that I want to speak about. Um, a player cannot be in back to back team of the week moment selection. So basically that's the same rule that they have usually with team of the weeks. And then uh, if a player is retired, banned, or no longer in foot, they will no longer be in a, in a squad if they pick a squad with a player that meets any of those three categories. They will have dynamic images, and um, they will receive upgrades if they're selected, of course. Is there, there's something else in here that I wanted to look at. Existing Team of the Week packs. This kind of sucks right here. Th this actually sucks. If you are holding Team of the Week packs, your existing Team of the Week packs will continue to include player items from Team of the Week 26 conclude can continue to include player items from team league 26 if we were able to reintroduce team league later in the year these packs uh would then update to use an active team of the week as per usual so that kind of sucks because people who save team of the week packs for a later team of the week they just kind of got screwed right here because they didn't open them who wanted to open your team of the week pack last week for team league 26 i mean you could have gotten mane and that's kind of it right so I'm sure there's some people out there with team of the week packs that are kind of just feeling screwed. Uh, and you probably just want to end up opening it because it honestly, it, I don't know if we're going to end up getting football again later this year. It, it's just really interesting to see. We'll see what happens. But uh, if you're in that situation, maybe comment down below. If you're holding a team of the week pack from like elite rewards or something, comment down below. I'd be curious to see how many people are holding those. And then they go on to talk a little bit about UEFA and UCL road of the finals, which are no longer upgraded until the competition resumes. And basically all of this stuff just talks about um, SBCs that are changing because of the lack of competitions in football. So again, I want to take a quick look at this team, right? These are the cards that are out in foot right now. And I want to talk about their prices relating to weekly because some of these guys are really cheap. Iniesta, 15,000 coins for this card as an 85 rated. That's a, like a discard in form investment for me. That's very, very cheap. Charisma 12K is very cheap. Uh, even Arnautovic. I know he's in the Chinese league, but he's 86 rated. That's pretty cheap. Paulinho's not a terrible card. But the ones that you really want to look at, wow. Miranda is, Miranda is even a better investment, in my opinion, than Iniesta. Center back for SBCs. This is a massive card. These cards are going to work just like Informs, right? That's a great investment, in my opinion, right there. Um, but again, you look at guys in this team that are hyped up that people are going to want to try out and use. Lingard, um, Delict, Walker, Alaba, Bale and that's it five guys from this team of the week moment squad literally five dudes that people are going to want to use on this game of fifa ultimate team and i want to talk about how these cards are not showing up as specials first off what happens when a card does not show up as a special on the market which i'm not sure when ea is going to get this fixed it better be soon um because if this is something if this is something that is not fixed by the time weekly rewards come out this is going to be a major issue uh, for the market. Let me search Kyle Walker here. He is not showing up under special. They haven't fixed it yet. They'll just, they'll fix it at a really random time and you won't even know. But this card right now is, I think, a little bit undervalued. You're like, whoa, Nate, undervalued? Yes, undervalued because look at the amount of supply that this dude has in the entire game. I know there's not been a lot of packs open today, but we did have pack supply. It's a little bit later in the evening, so there's probably less supply than in the height of the daytime. But there's only four, only four pages of supply of this card on the market right now. And that's not a lot. And this is an English center back in the Premier League. It's Kyle Walker, Manchester City. 
This is the type of card that I do think has the opportunity to rise tomorrow. But the biggest thing is, if they don't upgrade these to show as specials during weekend league rewards, these cards will drop even lower than what they would if they were showing up as specials. The reason for them not showing up and going lower is people cannot find them. And that, uh, you know, in turn, makes people less likely to want to use them. And probably... Uh, there's an 80,000 coin Alibi right there. So 80k for this card is interesting. Uh, but yeah, if you can't find them on the market, less people are going to be wanting to use them. You might get some more, you know, some better lazy buyers. So if you have any of these, list them for lazy buyers. But I think that if these are not fixed by Weekend League Rewards time coming out, I think you'll see a downturn of these cards on the market with the influx of supply from rewards. And that could be an investment opportunity. Let me look at David Alaba really quick uh i'm gonna put this to 10 actually i'm gonna keep it at 30,000 coins but i'm gonna go max because i should be able to find most of his cards there's probably a few of them out there since i'm searching by left wing back that i won't be able to find how much supply does alaba have we've gotten a lot of bundesliga center backs and a lot of bundesliga special cards lately so i'm kind of a fan wow man wow that is not a lot of supply on david alaba at 80 thousand coins at the moment let me take a look at his graph i'm telling you these cards are going to fluctuate a lot because you might think okay it's just a team of the week card but that is a better card design than a normal team of the week i think people are going to go and chase after these and try to put them in their squads in foot david alaba look at this footbin is telling me the story that i was not able to watch for myself today this is why footbin is the goat Seventy-two thousand coins today at um what is that is that 8 p.m uk 8 p.m. UK time, he was 72,000 coins on the PlayStation. He's up 10,000, right? He's up 10,000. And that's what happens when people realize they're not easy to find on the market. They're like, yo, where are these cards at? For the first couple hours, they can't find them. The, car, the card price drops. If you see him go back under 70K tonight during rewards, this card could be higher tomorrow morning, I think. This is like probably a 100K card on, on tomorrow morning after rewards, possibly. Uh, with four star weak foot with the, the the buyer links are what's crazy about this right now. So watch that card price. I want to look at Kyle Walker as well. It says he's 290k at the moment. And I know some of you guys might be like, why are you talking about this? This doesn't matter. These cards are irrelevant. Uh, I do think that there's people in foot that are going to be interested in these cards. So just watch them during rewards. If they're not showing up as specials, they probably will will be fixed shortly after that. And that could be an opportunity that we look for as uh, to, to maybe snag some of these guys really cheap during rewards. So something to keep your eye out for with that. Next thing I want to talk about is uh, headliner and ones to watch upgrades. We had two of those that happened today. Of course, uh, not really anybody knew this was coming earlier today. So you saw this Kyle Walker headliners card. This uh, 88, it has gotten upgraded. 88 rated Kyle Walker. This guy was like 220,000 coins this morning. Before Team of the Week moments dropped, he was about 235 or 240 because obviously there's people that have leaks uh, in FIFA and they know when cards are coming out. So this guy rose up a little bit. He went to 290,000 coins um, right after he was upgraded and right after he was announced as upgraded. Now he's back up, right? So this guy was 220. You can tell he was 220 after the weekend leak sell off last weekend. And of course, with the right backs that we have had in SBC, he was 200K flat late last night. The team of the week was announced right here. So he had risen up. Or actually, no, he was he, the team of the week was announced right here. Kind of announced right in this range. So he rose up from like 200 and, and low 200s up to like 220. And then boom, team of the week was announced. He went to 283 according to Footbin. He was actually at 290 at one point. Kind of came back down to 260. And now he is back up to 200 and basically 90, 300,000 coins. I do think he'll continue to rise and stay above that 300,000 coin mark as he again is you know, got another upgrade, beast, right back. One of the best right backs in the Prem for links as well, especially if you use Bernardo Silva um, in the Prem. Another thing I want to look at today is what this does, and getting away from just talking about Team of the Week moments cards, this kind of opens up, you know, a risky way of investing or maybe buying a card for your team that's a good player that could possibly get an inform from a previous FIFA. And this is what I want to talk about with this. Lewandowski is up 
like 70 or 80,000 coins from where he was today because people realized right away that when this card had the opportunity to go get upgraded again, they went and bought it back because I went back and I looked through some of the FIFA 18, FIFA 19, and FIFA 17 team of the weeks, and there are a couple Lewandowski's that are in those March and onward team of the week. So it is very possible that Lewandowski could get himself a 94 rated inform from one of those past team of the weeks and that this card could get upgraded. That's why I think you saw this card go from 700K today up to almost 800,000 coins. So it's up like 80,000 coins because of that possibility that his card is still going to get upgraded at some point. And if you go through and you look at some of the other live items, some of the headliners and some of the ones to watches, some of the other cards in here went up a little bit today because of that hype. Salah is 117 right now. That's a little bit higher. This Varane was 740, 750K like all day yesterday. And look at this, 740, 750. So this guy's up like 40 to 50K too. Yeah, see, so he was like 740. Bounced around a little bit and then boom, seven. the, the announcement kind of comes. People realize that he's still live. And he's rising back up now to A&R K. There's probably some people that are buying this up because of Weekend League and that coming up. But um, you, you saw some of these headliners rise up a little bit today just because of the fact that people realized, hey, there's still an opportunity for these guys to get upgraded. Go do a little bit of research if you want. Look at FIFA 19, FIFA 18, 17, 16, and 15. Go all the way back. You can do that on Footbin. Going down to f these different games right here. We can look, go look at FIFA 15 Team of the Weeks if you want to inside of foot so basically anything that is after team of the week 27 or 20 25 26 after anything after those team of the weeks we could be getting in foot like team of the week from fifa 15 i don't know if we'll be getting these cards and look at how bad these were back in the day bro look at how bad they were ramsey alaba benteke carrick no longer in the game aramenko don't know if he's in the game david villa uh, he has a, he had a flashback. I don't know if he's, he's got to be in the game if they gave him a flashback. Never mind. Tremolinas, Peloshi, like Origi. <laughs> wow, that's a throwback. Forster. Some of these cards, right? Like you look at this team of the week and you're like, man, that team of the week in March, it makes you respect a little, a little bit more the, the type of content that we get th these days in foot, right? And I want to put that into perspective as well. I talked about perspective and motivation and just kind of keeping things in reality. This team of the week isn't something that makes them coins, right? Or they makes them money. EA makes money from people that buy FIFA points for, yes, maybe trying to get a team of the week card, but ultimately for promos. That's what they've started to structure this game for, and they've started to structure this game to make you think. And that's where they make most of their money. I did not expect this team of the week to be hyped up. I, You know, I got a little bit optimistic when I saw the card design. I got a little bit optimistic because of that, but um, I don't... I just would, you know, don't have too big of expectations, basically, all right? We can't have huge expectations for everything. We get more content nowadays in foot than we ever have had. Uh, and you know what? Even though sometimes it's not the best value or it doesn't seem like it's meant for you, there's probably somebody in the game that is enjoying it, right? Like that, um, like the boys in green SBC, right? I'm sure some of my guys over there in Ireland are loving this, right? Because they can get their Shane Long, their McGeady, or their Coleman. Because this, these are players that they connect with because it's their nationality, right? And we had a, we had that Gary Mackey Stevens SBC a while back for, during Shapeshifters. There wasn't a lot of people that were pumped about that. Just kind of keep it in perspective. Not all content that comes in foot might directly relate to you because we get so much content. You know, people aren't usually involved in everything. They're kind of involved. Okay, I, I do a lot of league SBCs, right? I'm going after Alpara right now. Or, hey, I do a lot of upgrade packs. That's me. Or, hey, I like to do a lot of the player of the month. You know, you have opportunities to do that as well. So that's what I'm just saying. Kind of keep it in perspective. Just realize that maybe not every day's content is specifically made for you, right? There's a lot of people in this game and EA has to, you know, feed a lot of mouths or satisfy a lot of people's, uh, you know, wants in this game, if that makes sense. But moving on. I want to also talk about this for a second. They're throwing out Champions League SBCs. And this is my thought with this SBC right here. This just goes to show how long in advance EA Sports schedules content. This Roaring Stadium SBC, we were supposed to have Champions League games today on this Wednesday and Thursday. We were supposed to have Champions League games. So they made this a throwback UCL marquee matchup. And they probably threw some different teams in there. I didn't even see who's in this. Uh, so that they could release it today. But 
This SBC right here is probably something that they had scheduled a couple weeks ago when they were making this content or even a month prior. They thought there was going to be Champions League on this day and they released this SBC as just a, plaque, a pack SBC, right? That's what I see from this. That is honestly what I see from this SBC right here. So that just goes to show you that, hey, a lot of times this stuff isn't thought up like, boom, today today's content was decided yesterday. It's decided a long time before that. So that's something to keep in mind as well. But we did get a couple pack supply SBCs today, and that has lowered the price of some high rateds on the market. Some of our high rated golds, I'm, I hope that you guys sold earlier in the week. So I'm talking Monday, Tuesday timeframe was perfect for these guys. So 89 rateds are like down 5K, 88 rateds are down 5 to 6K, 87s are down uh, 3 to 4. These guys are down 2K, these guys are down a K across the board. So if we do get another promo this weekend, which is what I talk about next, these cards could drop more. So I know we just unloaded our clubs of high rated players because they were high, inflated because of SBCs. But we're going to be watching these guys as they could get lower this weekend. As we, of course, we watch out for a loading screen today. And this is a possibility of the next promo that could be coming up. Or I'll talk about the, the other promo in a second. So Carnival last year was held basically the week before this. So this would have been ending this week um, if they would have ran at the same time this year in FIFA 20 what they ran last year. So, you know, of course, Carnival was celebrating the um, fun, creativity, and celebration with the, the world famous carnivals held across the globe. So we had players from Brazil, France, Belgium, Italy, Argentina, USA, Spain, and Germany. And that was a cool promo last year because we got some pretty nice upgraded cards. We had Prime Icon Moments SBCs um, and more SBCs as well. So that was a decent promo last year, but I think we might've skipped over that one. We honestly might've skipped over that and we're getting very close. We are getting very, very close to the foot birthday promotion. Now, I don't know what they're going to do this year for foot birthday, but it's got to be a big year because I think this might be the 10th birthday for FIFA Ultimate Team. This might be year number 10 for FIFA Ultimate Team because I think it started in 2010, right? Now we're in 2020. So the 10th foot birthday celebration should be a big one. That's why you see me right now with like all of my coins liquid at the moment. Um, I'm kind of expecting something this week, right? I think EA has had something planned and I think they're going to drop something this week. Of course, these were some of the cards we got last year. This was a very hype promo last year with the position changes. I don't know how they're going to do it this year, of course, because we've already had shapeshifters that have come into the game. Of course, you guys know about a, one of my favorite dudes, uh, Mbabu. This card, like the shapeshifters promo was basically what they did last year with, um, with foot birthday. So I'm really curious to see what they do this year with foot birthday. But if it's the 10 year celebration, you best believe they're going to be throwing something out there. They're going to be doing something legit. And it's probably, uh, probably going to be, that's probably a buy just a second. I might make a few buys right now. Um, because this is some weekendly rewards of flipping prime time. This guy could easily be like 370. What was he last weekend? He was, he was 370 last weekend. You know what? We're going to try this one, boys. You're going to try that in Babu, 337K. I feel like I might be able to get somewhere around eh, 380 for that on the weekend, maybe 370 with the shadow. I would be very happy if I could, if I could swing that. But um, yeah, boys, that's what I'm thinking. Possibly foot birthday this weekend. So watch for a loading screen today. Again, if you have comments that you want to make on the team of the week moments, feel free to make them down below. Are these cards hyped up? Not really. Have team of the weeks this year been good? Not really. Um, but the card design for these are better. And of course, watch their prices during rewards. Cause I do think if they're still not showing as specials, you might see guys like Kyle Walker or David Alaba, or even Gareth Bale, take a hidden price initially from rewards and then shoot back up. Those are my thoughts on the stuff that's going on in FIFA Ultimate Team right now. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.